what I really hope is I, I want I don't want to say nationwide but I'd like um, I'd like an, another shop in uh, Brighton one in Bristol and then one up north somewhere possibly Sheffield and but in like 10 years in Brooklyn I want a shop in Brooklyn that'd be my dream so you want to go across the pond then yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, would you say at the moment you have a wide customer base so is it just predominantly Africans or is it my customer base is so wide that it's annoying so you can't you can't you can't pin down what you'd like to produce more of or what fabrics do you want to get to get more of it's 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 vast like i would say my regular customers tend to be uh black or um caribbean people but it's you know it changes all the time especially in the summer when you go and do the festivals and stuff because everybody who tends to go to festivals are quite ethically minded so they just love the story of it so Well, um, it's because I'm a nuts and bolts kind of man, so I like yeah. talking to customers face to face. But uh, and I don't enjoy the internet so much. But to be honest, this this year especially, uh, forty percent of the income has come from online, and that's from advertising, social media. We've got quite a large social media following, and uh, it's just it's, yeah, the, the online business does really well. So I forgot to say www.com. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, it's all for it. Remember where to go. But we're on Etsy and ASOS Marketplace and stuff like that, you know. I'm, I'm basically on all of them. I think in today's uh, climate, I think you have to try and be on as many things as possible. My tailors are all paid on a individual item basis. And I, I don't pay over and above the odds because otherwise it skews the system. But they work hard and they are getting paid three to four times the average wage. Every single tailor is doing that. And the, the stories that have come out since I've been working with them has been amazing. So one guy has extended his shop, one's bought a car, one's bought a plot of land and started building a house. And this, this is just from working with us. And it's, it's only four times the average wage, which is 120 pound a month, which but I know it doesn't seem a lot here, but out, but, out there yeah. it's a huge amount. And the things they've done with it, when, to be honest, when I first started, I thought, because I, I was just, I just studied African development. I didn't really, I wasn't there on a practical basis. I thought people would just fritter away the money on rubbish. But I'd, only one tailor, which is his choice. Right? There's only one tailor who's actually just spent the money on random things. Everybody else has you really used the money in a good way. I'd, I'd say I'm involved, uh, highly involved in, in every aspect. I know every single tailor and apprentice by name, and I'm friends with the main tailors at least. And I have lunch with their families when I'm out there, and I'm just involved in every single aspect of the business, which is what I love. But there is, that does bring a limitation to how big the business can get, because I, I really want that to remain throughout the whole business. So unless someone else decided to run the UK and I just went out to Africa the whole time, which I'd quite happily uh, <laughs> do, uh, then there's always a limitation. It may sound like really corny, yeah, but... Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, not like corny, but I mean, my, my biggest advice for anybody trying to do anything is just do it. Just try and do it. Because everybody's scared about different things, but you've got to just let your mind go and just try. If you don't give it you 100%, then what's, what's the point? I just think you just need to... If you've got an idea, just go. That's what I did. I just went out to Africa, done. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then five years later, you're here, like, you know. I think that that's my only advice to people. <laughs>